Before we do that, Hollow was suggesting, oh, it would be good if you had clues with two words in them, you know, a whole series, a whole cryptic crossword with two word clues. Well, look at that. I mean, that's pretty close to two word clues. You've got a couple there. Yeah, those are the mismatch clues. What's going on? Let's take a look. Each of the mismatch clues consists of definitions only for two randomly paired words. With a little help, these words can be matched up with their proper partners for entry in the grid. Solvers will need to add a single letter to each of the defined clue answers and then find the pairs of newly formed words that intersect on the added letters. What? When all nine pairings have been correctly placed in the diagram, their crossing letters Maybe re uh, read in sort of reading order will show what unites them. Mismatches, clue answers include one proper noun, all other entries, which are clued normally, include three capitalised words. So most of the clues are normal, some of the clues are normal. The numbering in the grid was horrendous, and I realise I've left the, 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 the... Oh no, no actually, hang on. No, it's in my calyx. I've left the crosswords in the calyx. Uh, so hopefully I've done the grid right. But the grid numbering was awful. Um, in that, you know, a lot of lot of the clues had no numbers with them. So, not in this crossword. Sad face. Okay, so those are the mismatches. Got no idea what is going on there. Let's start. Oh, I've spelt it wrong here. It is mismatches. Uh, by Hex from June 1999. Give me first go at all the clues when I get stuck, then I'll ask for help. But I'm probably going to try and do, let's say, all the acrosses before I ask for help. Famous last words. Yeah, in fact, I'll probably only do half the clues and then I'll come to you. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, oh actually, no, I've got it on a file and on my. Okay, let me. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Let me take a look at that. Right, 1999. Going back into my archive. Uh, June 1999. Because that is a very, very good spot from Cactus. Um, lawbreakers. No, we did that one. Mismatches. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, fine. I just didn't do the last three. <laughs> I just didn't add G. Swiss city slang. I don't normally I don't type them in, but it's just easier to do that this time. Leave a mark on platform and I nightclub job as performer. I mean it's on a different page. That's why I didn't spot it. Very cheeky, but well done, Katus. Anyway, we're gonna ignore them. One across ha hurts half of mismatches with remixing. Hurts half of rematches. With remixing, yes, I've got this one, one across. Not a funky one. I think this is a normal clue. Absolutely hollow, yes. Yeah. Waterfall, hollow, Caroline, all getting it. This is good. Well, I am an editor as well, although I don't, I don't edit any cryptic crosswords, which is just as well, because I've seen the cryptic crosswords editing process in the Telegraph and I'm just not good enough as an editor. I edit all the time for work because I'm an editor. But oh, the cryptic crosswords, it, it, they're just that too, that bit too hard. I need a lower, I need an easier cryptic to edit, basically is what I'm saying. They're too difficult for me. Okay, go for it in the chat. Hollow, wallow, hollow, wallow and collow. <laughs> Words, verbal diarrhea. Go for it if you uh, write the answer in the chat. Yeah. It's not that uh, hollow. It, I'm going with mames. Uh, did hollow do a typo or did he do a funny? Because I don't get the joke if it was funny. So, Marky, um, yes. Yes and no. You, you could choose to cold solve it or you could solve it with the answers. I would solve it with the answers just for time reasons. But um, I know that the person who edits... Uh, in fact, the, the two people, uh, they, both, they both cold solve it and then they go, OK, right, this is the edits that need to go. Which I think is slightly worrying because what if the clue is made wrong, then you're working off a wrong clue. So I would always want the answer to... Anyway. Uh, mames. It's half of mismatches. The first half are anagrammed and that's mames. Being funny for aches. Ah, oh, I do ache. I've just been for a run. It was a slow run. Seven across, which is here. Corner on the outskirts of a large Irish town. 
corner on the outskirts of a large Irish town. A doublet. I, I think the death in here. Oh, is this going to be a? This is going to be a funky one, I reckon. Solvers will need to add a single letter to each of the defined clue answers. Is that the mismatch clues or the normal clues? Good time zones. Good time zones to you. Happy. I oh, is Australia. Yes, Australia is. Happy Jubilee Day to you. Uh, although it's now tomorrow, actually. So happy Jubilee for yesterday. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, yes, I do. Because there's a two down. But there isn't a... There is... Uh, one, two, three. There's a... F okay, there's a four down, but there wasn't a four across, hence the question mark. Corner on the outskirts of a large Irish town. I'm going to come back to that. Total zero in wrestling. Total zero in wrestling. Okay, I have nine. That's fine. Oh, what flavour? What flavour did you have? You've got to tell me. Pay the ice cream tax. I do like... I once had... So my favourite is strawberry. I once had lime and chilli ice cream. As in, um, hot. And it's really weird because you, you're you eating this cold food and then you get the spice, which is warm. And you've got this warm and cold sensation in your mouth at the same time. It's so weird. I didn't particularly enjoy it, but I very much recommend everyone trying it to have that same experience. Go for it, Hollow, Katus, Marky and Caroline. Go for it. Uh, go for nine across. I will wait a few extra seconds and then I'll type in the chat. Uh, Hazel, oh, that's a good choice. Basically, Nutella, the chocolate. Absolutely. Sumo, sum is total. Zero is O. Oh. Sumo is wrestling. Loudly announced opening of laundry in the nude. <laughs> I've just done a bunch of laundry. Not in the nude. Loudly announced opening of laundry in nude. Chili and chocolate goes well together, although I've never had it. But just having chili, the hot sensation in ice cream, which is cold, so strange. Hollow's got this one. Hmm. Loudly announce, loudly announce, or rate. Opening of laundry is L. And if you, oh, so is it going to be shout? Loudly announces the definition. Opening of laundry L in nude. So bear, Blair. Blair? Because, yeah, nude is bear. And then we're going to put an L in there for Blair. And the, if you loudly announce you Blair something. Hooray! I had Blair, B-L-A-I-R, because of Tony Blair for some reason. Don't quite know why I went along that route. What is Stracciatella? But blood orange sorbet sounds blooming amazing. I love a good sorbet as well. Why are you not making me hungry? This is all like a miss fault. Uh, 11 across. Managed church and old western farm. Yep, okay. With I'm happy with 11. Managed church and old western farm. I'm happy with this one. Oh, absolutely hollow. Ah, in the bluff. Oh, L in, L in buff. That's good. That's unlucky, Caroline. That is, that's quite unlucky. Uh, 11 across, this is an American style word. Milk ice cream with chocolate shavings or three. Oh, very nice. Go for it, Marky. I'm going to type the first three letters. If you managed something, you ran it. Church is its usual CH, and then old is O. It's not Huevos. It's Huevos Ranchos. Rancho is an old Western farm. It is a Western farm, not necessarily old, but we can put that in for 11 across. 12 across. Social groups time taken up by legal action. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay with all of these. So these clues seem all normal then, don't they? I think all these clues are fairly normal, so we'll go through all these and hopefully put them all in. I was thinking of tobacco earlier. <laughs> As in the the Simpsons, the tomaco plants. <laughs> I was just thinking of that, just going, what an, it's so good. <laughs> uh, go for it, hollow for 12. Tomaco. It's tomato and tobacco. It's tomaco. <laughs> yes, a social group is a cast. Uh, a case surrounding the letter 
T, so that's going in here. Taking, <laughs> taking two pieces of beef from the middle, rotate serving dish. Taking two pieces of beef from the middle, rotate serving dish. Two pieces of beef, B-E. Or maybe from the middle it could be E-E. Rotate. I'm going to come back to 13, not sure what's going on there. 14, the larks flying around enclosures in South Africa. Oh, I might open up a dictionary here. Because uh, I think this is going to be an anagram of a lark. Uh, and it, it, it's going to be a word for enclosures in South Africa. So like racklers or something like that. If I had to guess, I'm going to say racklers. R-A-K-L-A-S. Let's see if that is right. I'm typing it into my dictionary. R-I-K-L-A-S. No! Carla. K-A-R-L-A-S. No! Uh, <laughs> um... K-L-A-A-R-S for Klaas? No. Klaas. No. Uh, what do you think in terms of the anagram? Klaas. Am I along the right line? That's my for kraals. Okay, let's try that. Kraal. A South African village of huts surrounded by a fence. Bing! Kraals is correct. Thank you. I knew, I knew the thing, I just didn't know the word. So I, I was sort of happy to, to be led on that one. So 14 goes here. Kraals. Obviously had trouble filling the grid if they needed to resort to that. Because normally they do very, very well at not using esoteric language. Lady had a salary of about a thousand. Lady had a salary of about a thousand. Probably going to be a woman's name. Had a salary earned. Or she, she made. Oh, madam, madame, yes. There we go. Uh, uh, absolutely, <laughs> I, I would I would manage to go through all the permutations except the right one. Uh, this is a m a thousand m for thousand in made. If you had a salary, you made that you made two thousand pounds. Oh, I wish I had a salary of that much. Um, and then uh, put a m and then you get Madame for a lady. So that's sixteen. So that's going to go here. Nineteen. A simple vessel carrying a Middle Eastern personage. A simple vessel. Carrying a Middle Eastern personage. Mm. Can I just say, whilst I remember, someone said to me, I always feel guilty when I solve a crossword and I just get it from the grid of letters and I sort of a wheel of fortune did a woofed it. I really, really wish people didn't feel that way because I think it's a legitimate way of solving it. That is why the grid is there. It is there to help you. Otherwise, you could just get rid of the grid and just have a list of clues and it would be dry and dull and boring. It's why the grid is there. And I explained to them and they kind of went, yeah, I see your point. And they felt a little bit better at the end of it. I don't think they were quite convinced. But I see absolutely nothing wrong with going, oh, it's these letters. It's probably that. Let's check the clue. The clue is then there to check that you've got it right. So, um, uh, I just want to say, if you're solving these and you've gone, well, I've gone from the letters in the grid, but I don't feel like I'm solving the crosses. No, you are. It's why there is a grid. It's why the grid is there. It is exactly, as Mark V says, perfectly legitimate solving. So that, that is my high horse and I will sit on it and it will run me off into the distance and I will scream. I'm not, I'm not getting 19 across. <laughs> Anyone may refer to someone alive in 1999 who is not, is not alive. Answer may refer to someone who alive in 1999 who is not alive now. Um, oh, OK. It... Mm. Saddam is the only Middle Eastern personage that immediately leaps to mind who is not alive now who was. Then, um, wrong country. Oh dear. Um, may I have a stronger hint? Absolutely cut it. <laughs> and even if it is Roddy Violet, you're still solving the crossword. In some ways, it's even more miraculous if you get 
get it all right and you can only do six clues. You've done some great Wheel of Fortune. Lebanese? Oh, I... Ugh. Um, first five letters, please. Okay, it's fine. First, uh, first two letters then. A simple vessel. <laughs> Arafat then. So why is it so a simple vessel carrying a a raft? I was entirely thinking like a, a jug. Or, a, or a, a glass or something for drinks. That sort of vessel. Not a raft at all. So I would have been there for a while. Arafat, thank you there. 22. Assistance holding C-sharp. Assistance holding C-sharp. Got it. There we go. It, it, it's undeniably a simple vessel, isn't it? But it's because you say a boat is a vessel, but just entirely didn't think of a vessel in that um, meaning. 22. I had a thought and then it came to me. Uh, nothing to do with coding. Yeah, I was trying to think what is C sharp. It, I'm going to tell you that C and sharp are not together. Sharp is your definition and C is part of the word play. So it's assistance holding the letter C. So if you put the C in a three less word meaning assistance, you get a word meaning sharp. I'll give it a few extra seconds. Poker, what do you think it is? Go for it, poker. Poker, 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 poker. Hopefully you're going to tell me. Hopefully you're going to tell me. Come on, poker. You've got this, poker. I'm really hoping you've got this. Starts with a yes, acid. It's aid with C in it. Good work. Good work. You weren't sure, but you are correct. 23. Start to cry and come apart. Start to cry and come apart. Tear, rip. <sighs> Start to cry. Ball, sob. The Start to cry is the letter C. Why are you touch typing in the dark? Yes, it is catnip. As soon as I saw your comment, I want to say yes, it is a double definition. It is exactly a double definition. <clears throat> but I took a swig of my coffee and I couldn't say anything. Oh yeah. Well, also just uh, if something is sharp tasting, it's acidic as well. Uh, it, it's um, 23 is double definition. Go for it, Marky V, and or anyone else. Uh, no, this tart is acid. This acid is tart. It's uh, it's sharp. It's fine. Sharp is sharp is acid. It is also acidic, but it is also acid. Ah, oh, fair enough. Good point, poker. Uh, yes, tear. It is tear. If you start to cry, you tear up. And if you come apart, it tears. So that is good. That's 23. It's what I've got anyway. Uh, oh, uh, no, I've still got sound. I'm still broadcasting sound. Hello. Uh, 24 across. Taking container of coffee for audition. Taking coffee of Tainer for audition. OK, I've got this one as well. So how's that new computer working out for you, Hollow? <laughs> it's going well. Uh, this one is a, a homophone clue. Did I say coffee of container? Uh, oh, probably. Gary, that's who. Uh, I, I should say, he hasn't been on the street for a long time, but uh, I, uh, I always call, call Gary at art. I've been to him quite a lot recently. It's sort of just over text. Uh, start in container of coffee for audition. Take in container of coffee for audition. Oh, reading. Right, I'll just say it's earn. If you take in something, you earn it, surely. <laughs> I might be wrong, but but a coffee of container, that's probably an urn. U-R-N. So I think it must be urn. E-A-R-N. Do, does thou agree? I hope so, because I'm putting it in the grid. Grieving figures caress while going around islands. Uh, 
Uh, you've never had a tea urn then, Sean. I always think of a tea urn. Less for coffee, I would admit. I would admit. Grieving figures is the definition. It's like mourners or something like that. Caress. If you caress, you hug you. I'm after a five-letter word for caress that ends in S, ideally, going around I or IS for island. Caress, you hug. <laughs> Caress, you hold. Uh, you love, you want grieving figures. I can't think of another word for a grieving figure that, other than a mourner. I had a dream last night. Oh, a very macabre dream. Not, my dreams are very strange. But uh, I dreamt that I was at my mum's funeral. But I thought it was my dad's funeral. The weird thing was, I went there expecting it to be my dad's funeral, and it was my mum. How weird is that? Anyway, speaking of my mum, she made it to Greece today! Hooray! The EasyJet flight was not cancelled yesterday. So, uh, not cancelled today, sorry. It was not cancelled overnight, is what I was saying, what I tried to say. Um, so there we go. Oh, like a widow. So... Uh... <laughs> So, what's the first letter, please? Going to need the first letter for those of you who got it. You know how I said I'd go through all the across clues without a hint? <laughs> Never mind. I've had, I, this coffee's kicked in. Um, yeah, first letter, please. He says, waiting for the letter to drop. What's the first letter? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I do not know why it went like that. P. If you caress, you... <sighs> Paul? Paul bearers? Um. No. Uh, next letter from anyone who has it, but it's only Meredith who has it. Um, so it'll be a few extra seconds before we get the next letter. <sighs> caress you. If you caress you, you hug you. And a grieving figure that starts with P. Uh, right, that next that extra letter will be coming in soon. Refresh your stream. Ah, uh, could just be grieving, I guess. Um, I. Ah, uh, it's probably going to be the island. In that case, I'm leaving that and coming back to it. Bill's eating hot snacks. Bill's eating hot snacks. So we need a six letter word for a five letter word for a bill. Put the letter H in it for snacks. So it's going to be crisps or churros or uh, might be an Americanism. Probably a bill is a check. And that's got hot in it, but snacks is not kek. Um, but a bill could be a C note, or a one, or an abe. It could be a, a slang for anything like that, and we're going to put hot in it. We'll go back. Uh, first letter, please, hollow. I did, yes. <laughs> N. Nachos? Is it nachos? Why is why is a bill a na naco? Oh, is there a famous bill? Is there a famous bill like Bill Naco, like a journalist or something like that, um, who I don't know? 
Um, and then we put H in it. I'm going to put nachos in the grid. And I'm going to hope that that is right. Nachos is wrong! In that case, I'm running away from that one as well. Probably going to end in S though, so I'm going to put the S there. In the greatest part of Moby Dick's beginning, be attacked en masse. In the greatest part of Moby Dick's beginning, be attacked en masse. Okay, I'm going to just say this because I've got this one. It's mobbed. The greatest part of Moby is more than half but not all, so that's mob. B-M-O-B. Dick's beginning is D, and B is in it. In the greatest part of mob D, we're putting B, mobbed, and that's attacked en masse. Two down. Finally abridged. Book of Maps. Has to be Atlas, surely. Oh yes, at last, but it's abridged. So it's at last. Take off the last letter for Atlas. If you see Book of Maps, has to be Atlas. What other words can it be other than Rand McNally? Um, yeah, nice service. Uh, for, for one. Hammer transportation in the Yukon. Hammer transportation in the Yukon. Uh, so this is three down, and that is here. So there is so there is nothing here. This is not a. This has no. No, down. Hammer transportation in the Yukon. Might be sled, wouldn't it? Like oh, there we go. Sledge, sledge hammer. Sledge is a hammer. It's a transportation in the Yukon. Well done, Dan, for saying it out loud. Woo! And well done to everyone in the chat who was getting that. Ding! Have a point. Next question. Not question, next clue. Show opposition busted crate. Show opposition busted crate. An anagram of crate, then? Fall down. <sighs> React, I guess. That's an anagram. Indeed, sledge and sledge, sled and sledge are the same thing, basically, sure. Uh, is it react? Do you... Uh, I'm going to... Would you say that four is react? Okay, I'll put react in then. I'm not, I'm not... I mean, show opposition. Like, you just show any form of emotion for react. So show opposition is a bit meh for me, but I'll take it. Overdramatize retracting error. In my opinion, overdramatize, over react retracting error, in my opinion. Five down. Okay. Well, I'm woofing this because I'm not getting it from the clue. So go for it in the chat. Remember, reacting does not mean acting again. Uh, it is five down in this. It is an emote. So, not every clue has a number here. Um... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> uh, wonderful, wonderful streamers, though. Uh, it's emote. But why is it emote? If you ever dramatise, you emote. Retracting error, in my opinion. Why is it that emote? So if there's a question mark, so for example, this down, there is no down here. Um, we've got a down here. There's 20 down here. That's why there's question marks here. So it's very confusing. Uh, in my opinion is IMO. Yeah, but it's... There's no IMO. In my opinion? over dramatized Retracting error. In my opinion. I don't get why that is... Emote, but it has to be emote from the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm just going to move on. Let me know if you if you manage to pause it, but I'm just going to move on. Reminders. Ah, uh, something like that. D oh, so an error is E to me, in my opinion. <gasps> All backwards. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Reminders are fine found in some bills. Reminders are fine found in some bills. So it's this entry. Fine could be okay. 
Reminders, alarms, uh, tokens. Yes. I don't know. It's, so it's OK in tens because some builds are tens and a token is a reminder. Here is a token of my affection. Here is a reminder of my inf affection. <laughs> a reminder of my infection. <laughs> I can't speak today. My brain has shut down for the long weekend. That's what it is. Eight down. Bring on popular scoundrel. OK, just type that in the chat and explain why it is. If you've got it. I think it is, Sean. I think uh, a, a token of my infection. I'm writing that one down. That's good. It is in. If you're popular, you're in. You're in the in crowd and a, a scoundrel is a cad or a cur. In cur is to bring on. Cause a stir with that item in small print. Cause a stir with that item in small print. 15 down. So agitate from the Wheel of Fortune. That item in small print. That item is it. And it must be in agate. Um, sensei! Do, 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 do. Oh, you triggered! You, tr you triggered me! Huzzah! I was waiting for the rash! Woohoo! Ah, oh, very well done. Very well done. Uh, so, uh, agate is a type, a, a size of type in approximately five and a half sort of points. Okay, so, cause stir, agitate. Didn't know that there was that. Uh, thank you for triggering that. that. That phrase which I had just ready, ready down here. Uh, arrangement of Harlem Composer. Arrangement uh, of Harlem Composer. Yeah, it's a type of gem here. Type of gem. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm happy with 16. Relatively straightforward as, as clues go. But it depends whether you've heard of the composer. The definition is a composer. Hmm, fair enough. Fair enough. Go for it. Go for it in the chat. Type it in. It's an anagram of Harlem. It's not Arch. <laughs> Good evening. It's not Gustav. It's Marla. Don't know any of their works, but, uh, or his works. What is, I don't know. What would you say? Anyway. Probably his. 17 down. Oh, I could put it in the grid though, can't I? 16. Where is, there it is. Oh yeah, it's easier when you've got some of the letters filled in. I forget we've got the grid, having sort of talked about the grid. Um, it is a lovely day and you are a terrible Gustav fan. The insect is riding on the back of male colony member. Insect is riding on the back of male colony member. I mean, I want ant and man. Ant man, it's not. Uh, insect is riding on the back of mail. Well, what's a member of a colony? It's an ant. Oh, or it might be like a drone or something for a male colony member for like a bee or something. Insect, all I could think of is bee. Uh, what was the answer? What was the uh, result of the poll, by the way? I didn't see it, I've got to look in time. Um, it probably is. I got too excited that I had the piece of paper saying rash on it. <laughs> That's what it was. Too smug. Smug Dan. I think I'm going to have to come back to 17. All I can think of is Ant and B, which is like Ant and Deck, but less fun. Are you actually being... Oh, Batman? Because it... Uh, it if it's Batman, Bat's not an insect. Uh, Batman's DC anyway, so I've got to ding you if you. If, but uh, it, it, if if it's a it's a different Marvel character. Good. Oh, I'm glad that you know that Hollow because that it's yeah. Good. Um, insect. It's not a bat. 
<laughs> That's a really good definition for nudist. Termite man. What other insects are there? I could only think of ant and bee. Which, there are billions of insect, insects out there. Fly. Um, insects. Things with six legs. Bug. There's going to be something man on the back of mail. For, oh, ooh. Mail could be M then. Is the first letter M? Mantis. M is male, is is is, ant is involved. So ant is, insect is, is ant is. On the back of male, there's your M, and you get mantis. Who is a, di who is a, uh, 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 what, it, one of the, in Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, is, is an empathist. Very cool antenna. Uh, and a mantis is a colony member, I guess. Are mantises, do they form, do they form colonies? A colony of mantis? Mantises? I'm going to have to look up the plural of mantis now, aren't I? The plural of mantis is... In, in chambers, either mantises or mantes. <laughs> M-A-N-T-E-S. Oh, colony refers to the... Oh, so insect is the definition. Oh, of course it is. Sorry, yes. 18. Trains water on small branches. Trains water on small branches. That's 18, which is here. We don't have very many letters here yet. Trains water... On small branches. Train, you spar, you prep. It's going to be on S, so it's probably going to end in S, which is very useless in terms of helping this clue. Small branches, twigs. A branch could be an arm. Water. If you water, you wet, you moisten. Uh, water could be liquid. I'm going to come back to this one. I need a bit more help on it. 20. I know you've got your hollow, but I'm going to come back to it. Bogs containing river plants with no flowers. Bogs containing river plants with no flowers. Fauna. No, flora. I always get flora and fauna mixed up, even though flora and flowers are the really... Oh, here's fauna. It's not fauna. Fens. Fens are bogs containing an R for river. And you get ferns, which reminds me I need to water my plant. I need to water my plant called Jules, Jules Fern. So it's R in fens for ferns. Plants with no flowers, they have fronds. Who needs enemy when you have fronds like these? Uh... <laughs> Part, uh, figure of speech used in Metro Periodical. <laughs> it's my favourite. It's my favourite. Uh, type it in the chat. When you've spotted it, it's hidden in Metro Periodical. Where is 21 down? And it's a figure of speech. It is a trope. Whoops. So it's literally hidden in Metro Periodical, T-R-O-P-E. Good, we are getting there. Um, let's have a quick go on a second go around because I'm deliberately leaving the mismatches until that. So in Chambers, the definition of trope is a figure of speech properly one, I can't say it, properly one in which a word or expression is used in other than its literal sense, i.e. a metaphor, uh, a cynic dote, uh, cynic or irony. So there, I almost know what that means. But a trope is also a recurring theme or idea. It's also that. So corner on the outskirts of a large Irish town. Uh, table. Uh, Irish town. Tra Lee. Is, a la is, is an Irish town. Is it that? Tr 
tree's corner? How would tree be corner? Um, it's a wooden post or a bar, sure. It's the cross. The table is also known as the cross on which it's crucified. Um, chase something up a tree. If you tree an animal you are hunting, um, is it a verb then? To form on a tree or to drive into a tree to corner. Yes, it is. Wow, there you go. See, uh, put AL in that for a large trolley. Uh, 13. Taking two pieces of beef from the middle, rotate serving dish. Well, it's tureen for the serving dish. But so taking two pieces of beef from the middle, that's EE -E, from the middle of beef. EE, -E, rotate, you turn, put that in there. You get to Turin. 25. Grieving figures caress while going round island. 25. <sighs> caress while going round island. Grieving. F Hold on. What is what is this third letter, please? Going to need it, I think. Pieces. Oh, pietas. Is it that? Caress. Pets. Petas. So. If you caress, you pet, and then as, as in while, while it was on, as it was on. Oh dear, that's, I always forget that that can be a thing. Pietas, um, also a statue by David, uh, by Michelangelo, of course, who did David. Uh, and finally, oh, uh, 26. Why do we not have a 26 across? I think I've done a typo. Hmm. Didn't spot that on the first one, just looking that up. Uh, 26, 26, 26. Yeah, I just misread it. That's 26. Uh, Bill's eating hot snacks. I think I'm probably going to need you not to tell, it, tell me to this. So it's not nachos, but it does stop then. Uh, no, hang on. It's this one. No, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glad I brought... Uh, yes, it's just this bar. Should be here. Fine, don't do that then. Uh, let's just correct the grid. And then put the grid in. Why did I do the... Uh, so that is the thick bottom. And there's one on the right hand side. There we go. Oh, that took ages. Um, Bill, so it's going to start with an N. Hot noshes. Oh, a bill. A bill is a nose. Put and and if you nosh on something, you snack on it. There we go. Uh, okay. Have we not got anything down here? Eighteen. Oh, eighteen is the last one. I think you had it hollow. So hollow, uh, first letter, please, on this one. Um, trains water on small branches. No, no, I won't ever learn Excel. S. Trains. Water. Steam. Stream. No. 
Steam? No. Water could be steam, but it's more train. Uh, um. <laughs> Just see the poll. I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote for that one because it's not got any love. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> trains. Uh, next letter, please. Sprays. Sprays? Is it sprays? Oh, it's a double definition. Okay. Small branches a spray. Oh, like a sprig, like but slightly bigger than a sprig. Trains water on if you spray, and small branches are spray. There we go. Did not know that. that uh, so it's like a sprig, but not quite. Good. Okay, so we're now going to deal with the mismatches. Each of the nine, and there are nine now, mismatched clues. They consist of definitions only for two randomly paired words with a little help. These words could be matched up with their proper partners, so they're not with their right partners. Okay. For entry in the grid, solvers will need to add a single letter to each of the defined clue answers and then find the pairs of newly formed words that intersect on the added letters. So we're going to be able to add an extra letter and they will intersect at that extra letter and we will get new words. Okay. Wizard was saw. Studies melody, ocean harbour, domesticated horse. Mother gets older, have a meal at one's residence, Swiss city slang, leave a mark on platform, nightclub job as performer. So now, so we've got BA something something. And uh, th so this and this are going to be a pair, probably. And they're going to intersect here, and this is an extra letter. So we're after a three letter uh, solution, maybe it's a, a harbour is a bay. So I reckon that's bay. So ocean could be Pacific or something, uh, and, and um, marimba, maraca, but it's something like that. That's what we've got to do. Um, Wizard, so magician. Uh, magician, no, that's far too long. Okay. Scar. Leave a mark on, you scar. And we go, that's going to become an O for Oscar. So what I'm going to do, just going to uh, mark that and then colour this. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I will mark that. And then colour this a different colour. So we're after. Um, so it's that, so platform, Swiss city, what sort of cities are there? There's Zurich, there's Bern, I'm going to take that bay away just in case. There is Zurich, there's Bern, there are mismatches. So this scar is not going to go with the word for platform, so this is not platform, it's going to go with one of the other things, they are mismatched. Have a meal at, eat. One's residence, house, can house go anywhere? Or home, home, home could go there. And then that could be sort of Homer or something. Uh, something. So we've got that. So I think that's home. So, um, so we're after M A something something. Um, horse could be a mare, maybe. What have we got here? R O blank A N. So a roan is a horse. That's forced. That roan is it's there, and it's crossing this. So what? Uh, so what? Five. So we're after a five-letter clue, a five-letter answer to one of these clues, and it won't be the part of. It won't be domesticated. Was saw is probably ached. 
melody, probably tune. Something R, something O, T. Ergo. Is, is there a Swiss city? Or is it Arcot or something like that? Uh, nightclub job, bouncer, barman. Um, slang. Um, um, <laughs> hmm, I should think back to some doodles I did recently, Warble J, so I've got that. Oh, so that Roan could also be a mare. <sighs> That's irritating. Because Homer and Marge. What's the Swiss city uh, for anyone who knows that? Because that will just help us move us along. But the fact that Homer and Marge, because you get home and mage, that works really well. It's Edam. Ooh, okay, did not know there was a Swiss city called Edam. You were thinking Aachen. Uh... Oh, yes. Well, hang on. But the Swiss city needs... Whatever's here it needs to only be three letters. So that can't be there. A dam is a mother. Oh, it is, though. You're right. Mage works with slang. OK, right. Well, lots of suggestions are coming in. So let me just do this. Because it's almost certainly Edam. But there is a crosser here. So dine, how about if you, how in, instead of that, how about dine? And then you get Adam and Diane. That feels like a pairing. So we've got Homer and Marge. We're, we're, match, we're creating couples. We're creating couples. So is there a Roman and Margot? Is there, is, is, um, a Diane and an Adam? feel like they're a pair. Homer and Marge, definitely a pair. So Homer uh, and Mage, so that's the wizard. So home and Mage, those are done. Um, uh, so what is Argo, A-R-G-O-T? Oh, R, never mind, Cactus. Well, we will ignore that <coughs> as much as we can. Argo is your slang, did not know that, okay. So Argo and Rowan go together. Uh, so who goes with Oscar? So we're after sort of names. We know we're sort of, when we add a letter, we'll get a name. Um, oh dear. Um, so a marine, a harbour is not a bay, it's a marina. And Mariana Uh, Bal, Ban, Barry. Mm, yeah, I'm going to come back to that one. Um, okay, so we've got <laughs> ah, we have we've got the ocean. The ocean is C. So we've got C. Is it going to be Seal? Who was Seal partnered with at one point? Uh, Agnes? No, Sean and Agnes. Sean and Agnes. Uh, for ages, for gets older. So we've got C and ages. That's Sean and Agnes. They're done. Uh, Martina 
And Bart, have we got a Bart? So a bar. What would a bar be? A nightclub job? Just be a bar? No, a platform is a bar. <laughs> and a marina is your ocean harbour, so we can do that. So Martina and Bart, who are they from? Is that selected? No idea. I think a platform is a bar. Oh, nightclub. Yes, it could just be nightclub. Okay, no, I do. I like that rather than nightclub job. Uh, could be bar here. And then job as performer could be an actor, therefore, maybe. Um, so we've got here studies, melody, wizard whistle. We haven't ached is probably going to go here. So eight and that, that's four letters starting A, something, something, A. Uh, do, is the Swiss city A, something, something, A? So, um, So ached can go here, it would have to go here, and then it's going to cross with this one. It's going to go there. Um, so yeah, m uh, aria. A melody is, can be an aria. There we go. So we got aria and ached. Those are our matches. So we're going to put M there. There's a, well, that's two M's in a row, don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to get a couple of matches here and here as well, with the crosser being here. Uh, these, so, ah, the platform probably going to be a dais or a dais because that's going to go there and we're going to have daisy uh, that's the wrong color and then they will cross here so that can be a bar there that's a dais and what is going to go across Oh, domesticated could indeed be tame. Yep, yep. Um, studies, dens. So, uh, dens, there must be a dennis, D E N Y S. So, Dennis and Daisy. Um, I feel like something's gone wrong somewhere. The Swiss city is burn. Thank you. So, that's going to go. Here, so it's probably going to be Bernie. Who is Bernie going with? Um, something I G. Have we used Dam yet? Ah, yeah, Gig. Absolutely, Gig. So it's Gig and Bernie. Uh, sorry, Gigi and Bernie. Oh, uh, yeah, oh no, that's fine. So, because this is going with Oscar. So, we've got Oscar and. Bruh. Um, bruh. Mother. Domesco. Ah, yes, if you domesticate something, you break it. It's in break in. So, broke becomes brook. Uh, yes, I don't recognise any of the actual couples, but they must be couples. So, Oscar. Uh, so Scar, have we got Scar? There's Scar. So Dam and Dine are the last two. Where are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I've got. I, I put it in the grid already. Apparently. Um, can I mark them off? Where did I? Ah, oh, there. There we are. Adam and Diane. So, reading now in column order, matrimony, 
And that is the answer to the question. Um, solvers will need to add a single letter. When all nine pairings have been correctly paste, placed in the diagram, their crossing letters may be read from left to right, column to column, to show what unites them. It is monogamy. Good type of hardwood is monogamy. Do, 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 do. Uh, anyway, matrimony. It's matrimony, not monogamy. Why did I say that? <laughs> it's matrimony. Get it, get it right, Dan. <laughs> yes, aside from that, perfect. Uh, matrimony is what connects them. Don't know whether they're all still together. Um, I suspect very much not, but uh, more gin, absolutely. Uh, matrimony is what keeps them together. Fun puzzle, very simple, normal clues, and then having to find things, put an extra letter in, and yep, yeah, yep, yeah, happy with all that. That was lovely, excellent.